Good afternoon and welcome to the Hollywood Studios parking lot where we're here today because there's some new stuff at uh, Hollywood Studios. There's actually some new meet and greets where we can meet all sorts of characters and they also have new Oswald merchandise in celebration of Disney's 100 Years of Magic. So if you're ready to go check out what's new at Hollywood Studios, let's go. Okay, we're gonna head into the Celebrity Five and Dime store where they've got more vault collection merchandise for the Walt Disney World 25th collection and also more Oswald merch. So they have plenty of new Oswald merchandise. And if you don't know, Oswald was one of the first characters Disney drew before Mickey Mouse, but was lost to another studio in a weird series of unfortunate events. But now he is back with the Disney company and they are branding him proudly. So starting off with the Oswald collection, they got the Oswald Lucky Rabbit Thermos for $27.99. And it's themed to the short skyscrapers, which Oswald appears in. And they have this Oswald the Lucky Rabbit shirt embroidered. And it's got his ears all over it. And the price, and the price is $59.99 for this very Oswald-like shirt. And for $54.99, they've got a little bit more subtle shirt with the embroidered ears, but on the back, it says Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Rival Romeos by Walt Disney Copyright. That's pretty cute, Oswald scene. And they have an Oswald long sleeve shirt. And on the back, Oswald riding on his horse. And the price is $44.99. It says Oswald all along the sleeve here. And they have a $39.99 pillow themed to Oswald with his long ears. It's pretty big. And here they have a nice mug themed to Oswald. It says Walt Disney Studios with Oswald bursting out of the middle there. It says Hyperion Hollywood. And it says on the inside, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and on the back, it's his backside poking through the sign. It's priced at $19.99, and it is dishwasher safe as well. And going with the same type of theme, you got Oswald bursting out of the front, and his backside on the back, and it's kind of a hoodie. And the price of this is $64.99 for this Hoodie of Oswald. And I remember there was a time when there was a lot of Oswald ears was when they first reacquired the Oswald rights at Disney. But it looks like he's reappearing again. This is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit embroidered on the front and back. And the price is $27.99. So if you didn't want to get the hoodie version or the hoodie variety, they have a t-shirt for $34.99. Also with the same pattern on the back. And for $60, you can get the Oswald ear lamp. I don't know, it's kind of a weird item. But I think the weirdest item here for $59.99 is an actual diffuser. And it shows like the little steam or the mist popping up through the top here. And you just kind of, looks like you put the water in there. And you just kind of turn it on and then watch them go. That is a weird item. And they have these Oswald ear bands. It says Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. It does not say the price on it though. And it looks like you can bend these if you wanted to. They're bendable. And it looks like they've got a shirt, a women's shirt with Hortensia on it. That's Oswald's girlfriend for $36.99. And for $59.99, you can get the Oswald throw blanket. It's not super soft though, I will caution you on that but it does have Oswald the Lucky Rabbit on it and that doesn't happen very often and right beneath that is a reusable bag themed to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and I love that it says by Walt Disney because a lot of people forget that Oswald is a Walt Disney original back in the Disney fold yep Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and I happen to notice on the other side of the store they have a Walt Disney Studios hoodie for $64.99 and it's all embroidered. You don't see that very often. Nothing on the back though. 
And then they've got the Walt Disney Studios hat. Kind of like this. Yep, Hyperion says 2719 Hyperion Hollywood, which is the location of the studios. $29.99 for the hat. And then you got the cool photo frame here. Porcelain photo frame. And it's priced at $29.99. And then directly beneath the adult hoodie is the kids hoodie. $24.99 and it's identical to the adult one right up here. But this is actually really nice. It's got like this like really cool padding on the inside. It's kind of like a heavier long sleeve. It's priced at $64.99, also embroidered Walt Disney Studio, but nothing on the back. And it looks like they have even more Walt Disney Studios merchandise. Reusable bag here for $39.99. Oh, that's kind of fun. Character model department. And they have a Mickey beret here for $29.99. It looks like Walt Disney Studio onesie for $29.99. And a striped Mickey Mouse shirt. Ah, uh, see, they ripped the price off. This one says $36.99, which leads me to believe that they might be changing the price on this shirt. Not entirely certain. And they have a Mickey phone holder for $49.99. So you might remember this. This is an old, old phone holder. But I think Walt Disney had it in his office. He just kind of rest the phone right on top of his ears. And they have this wide cut sweater here for $49.99, just like the other ones over there. But it's kind of like a wide cut up at the top near the neck. And then right beneath that is the shorts. And the shorts are priced at $36.99. I kind of like this like orange on gray retro Disney Studios, it's pretty cool. And they have more Mickey Mouse line of merchandise, retro Mickey Mouse. This is a cool line of merch. And this looks like it's a, what is this, a cup? Not sure, $24.99. This looks like it's a journal set. Yep, three journals for $29.99. Not sure what the different designs are, but. And they've got a memo board here. Wow, and it looks like, that's $79.99, wow. That'd be cool to have on a desk. And they have this 100th anniversary merchandise themed to Mickey Mouse here for $34.99. It's just a kind of black and white classic Mickey. Another thing to go on your desk at work. Nice little typewriter. And you've got like, you can keep your post-it notes up here. That's kind of fun. Huh. And it looks like they've got a really cool looking mug. Yeah, check it out. Walt Disney cartoonist, comic cartoons, advertising cartoons, animated cartoons. And then the address of the studios for $19.99. That's neat. And that's got like that old design to it, that cool retro look. And there's a big giant pillow here. Um, priced at $49.99. I don't think there's anything on the back. And then that kid shirt for $24.99, which looks just like the adult version. And they do have a new spirit jersey from the 100 collection. And it's got Mickey on the front and it is $79.99 according to the sign here. And I noticed they don't have the price on here so they can change that price whenever they want. But on the back, it says Mickey Mouse sound cartoon. Also coming in the vault collection is this jacket for $89.99, embroidered for the 25th anniversary back when they had that. And on the back, all embroidered. I love this look. They even have the t-shirt right here. This is a cool shirt. I like this shirt a lot. Nothing on the back. What's the price? All right, the price is $39.99 for this shirt. A little pricey. But I do like that design. And whenever, when are you ever gonna get a 25th anniversary shirt ever again? Check it out, they've got this 25th anniversary hat to go with the jacket here for $29.99. And it's got like this little buckle at the back. That's nice. And it definitely looks like Disney is leaning into the 25th anniversary, the birthday cake castle. Because this mug is here and it's $19.99. I don't remember this mug, but yeah. 
If you want to relive the birthday cake castle in mug form, there you have it. And then they have this crop top sweater themed to the 25th. I believe it's $54.99. And they have this really cool embroidered, almost all embroidered. I think the castle's not. But the characters are printed on there and embroidered. And I can't find this shirt anywhere. So I don't know the actual price of it. But pretty cool that they're leaning into the Disney past. Okay, so enough merchandise talk. Let's go meet the Incredibles because they meet just outside Echo Lake and then maybe go see Goofy and Max, and then we might see the Rescue Rangers, which meet at the Adventure Outpost of Indiana Jones. We'll have to go check it out and see. Let's go meet some characters. Hello, I love your new area. It's such an incredible view. <laughs> How you guys doing? Doing good? Awesome, you wanna get a photo together? Always fun seeing the Incredibles in their new area. Now let's go see if we could find Goofy and Max over near uh, the entrance to Galaxy's Edge. And just outside the Galaxy's Edge entrance over in Grand Avenue is where you're gonna find Goofy and Powerline Max. Not just Max, but Max in his Powerline costume from the movie, the Goofy movie. It's not very often you get to see Max in his Powerline costume. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna do a showdown? <laughs> hey Max, how's it going bud? I like the outfit power line. Oh, so cool, so cool. And how was Roxanne? Good, good, glad. It's not like you're not used to cameras though. <laughs> I like the outfit, I really do. <laughs> you wanna have a picture? Awesome. Hey, Goof, how's it going? I like the Hawaiian shirt. I'm wearing one myself, as you can see, because we're relaxing. We're having a relaxing day at the park. <laughs> I know you know that too well. <laughs> you want to get a picture together? Awesome. Okay, so I'm cutting through Galaxy's Edge to see if there's anything new at Galaxy's Edge. Just got done seeing Goofy and Max. Always fun to experience them. But I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm thinking maybe going back to Woody's Lunchbox. I haven't been there in a long time. Let's go check it out. I'm a little annoyed because I did not bring my Magic Band Plus today. Otherwise, I could have played a little bit of the Bounty Hunter game. I got a quick glimpse of some of the interactive elements and it looked pretty fun. So maybe I'll have to come back here and try it another time. Maybe do a separate video on it. And just left of the Bounty Hunter game is this nice mechanic garage. And every time I see this thing, I get Johnny Five is Alive vibes from the movie Short Circuit in 1986. It used to be one of my favorite movies growing up. All right, so I've decided for lunch, I'm gonna have the grilled cheese from Woody's Lunchbox. I don't know why, I just have the urge of having a grilled cheese. So that's what we're gonna get today. And this is what we're gonna be having today, grilled sandwiches. Don't think we're gonna have any grown-up drinks. Not even an ice cream float. Maybe a dessert, if it's a good dessert, we'll see. Okay, we got the three cheese grilled cheese sandwich, which is made with cheddar, provolone, and mozzarella cheeses on a sourdough piece of bread. And we also got some potato barrels or tater tots. And of course, a water to stay hydrated when it's warm out. Okay, so we got the grilled cheese and it is very cheesy. All right, let's give it a shot. I mean, it's grilled cheese, but I remember eating this when this first opened and I did not like it. So I think they changed the cheeses up. And I think these three cheeses go along really well. And it does have a little bit of a garlic taste to the bread. Nothing like a $10 grilled cheese. Ah yes, look. One of the reasons why I wanted to come over here is to look at Woody's Roundup Barbecue and the construction progress on it. You got the Green Army Man looking out don't come back here. Don't hop the fence because now the fence is exposed. They got these shrubs out, but reservations are starting soon on February 21st and the grand opening happens to be March 23rd. So maybe soon we'll be eating lunch here as opposed to Woody's Lunchbox. All right, so since we just got lunch, now let's head back over to Echo Lake where we're at now because we're gonna go meet Chip and Dale part of the Rescue Rangers. So let's go check out our good friends. And right over at the Indiana Jones Adventure Outpost, 
you'll see the line forming for Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which only makes sense because he's wearing his Indiana Jones gear. Oh man, you know they're popular when they're not even out and they still have a line. So let's get in line so we don't lose our place. Hey guys, how's it going? Huge fan. Love, 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 love that. Now I can see you guys in the park. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Big hug. <laughs> how's it going? Chip, how's it going? Awesome. Can we get a picture together? So that's gonna do it for us here today at Hollywood Studios where we got to see all the new Oswald merch as a part of the 100th uh, year anniversary merchandise collection. We got to see some of the Walt Disney Studios merchandise. We got to eat at Woody's Lunchbox. Haven't done that since we've had the channel. And then we met a whole bunch of characters and apparently I'm finding out now that today was the first day of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers meet and greet. So you got to see that too. It was a fun day. Fun day of characters, fun day of fun. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet and you want to join the trek, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. And until next time, see you real soon.